Welcome everyone. Michael Jacob at twitch.tv slash darkest underscore mage. This is Blue Black Terror, a deck I've been working on since Modern Horizons 3 came out. It has a lot of new cards in it. Sneaky Snacker is a big one. Whenever you draw your third card in a turn, return it from, the, from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. You put it in the graveyard with cards like Modern Age, or you mill it with Thought Scour, Brainstorm Combo. And uh, it's really good at attacking and blocking, and most importantly, the initiative and Monarch mechanics and Pauper. Normally, Control decks have a big problem with that, but 2 1 Flyers are really good at taking it and keeping it by blocking, and you can easily put it back into play with all your card draw. And of course, the, the namesake of the deck, Teleran and Terror. Ward 2 is basically hexproof. Unexpected things to make it into a lifelinking, unstoppable creature that can bring you back from the abyss. Lots of one for one cyber cards. Mono Red's a problem, so four Hydro Blast, Mario Unexpected Things, trying out Last Rites, trying out um, some Thorns of the Back Rows. I'm not sure in Harmons of Radar versus Suffocating Fumes. I don't know actually know which one's better. And 18 lands. Uh, I have no way to the Rash Parents or Forbidding Landscape is better. This is Modern Rises 3 card, trying it out. And um, yeah, let's get into the gameplay and see how this ends up playing out. Oh. <laughs> Man, it feels so good to be back, back where modern age exists. Imagine if this was Murmuring Mystic. How horrendous this hand would be. I need kitchen amped. We also get to play way better basics. Agreed. Uh, it seems like Snuff Out is probably not at its best. <laughs> not at its best here. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, the the, the Gleeze Art deck? Oh, Snuff Out's at its best here. Whoops. Well. Mistakes were mid. <laughs> I thought they were Black Red Burn, man. Well, that's not good. I mean, they would have dressed it anyways. Well, oh, everything worked out. Well, our hand is not good. Uh, well. We have a plan. I don't think it's a good one. I wish I had a counterspell here instead of not. <laughs> You 
Need to draw some snuff outs. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, Glee is worth a lot now. Brainstorm would be good. Okay, pretty good. Oh, I need to mill my snacker. What am I doing? Oops. All right, well. I forgot I had the, the snacker in my hand should be an island. It's not a big deal. I guess it's fine. Got my cast down, that's not great. <clears throat> Guess I shouldn't have played the swamp that turn. Should have played island instead and milled the snacker. If we lose, it's gonna be cut be because of that. Deep analysis or learn and reveal to be a good draw. I did say deep analysis first. Okay. Should I leave a, should I leave a vector glider back? Because then this just kills me. 
I think I should leave one back. I should have a sneaky snacker in play. What do they have in their hand? I don't understand. There's a pile of glees. That doesn't make any sense. Do you think they have, um, Do you think they have blood fountains in the in the in the Jun version? I don't like going down to zero snackers. I like the first snacker. What else do we want to cut here? I could cut some thought scours. I don't need them. I think they're maybe the worst card in the deck. I guess I don't need two unexpected things. I can cut one of those. I don't think you should ever go down to zero one of these. Because actually what happens is they get an extra... Basically, Terror matches up with the 5-6 Chrysalis fairly often. Um, so having one in the deck is actually quite valuable. And plus, you have a lot of, like, life loss in your deck, so. I don't mind one Nihil Spellbomb to help against Evolution Witness and Blood Fountain if they have it. But I don't know if they have it in their deck. So... Reasonable hand. We almost punted that one away, too. Discarding our snuff out. I thought they were Black Red Burn. I didn't think they were freaking Jund Glee. Oh yeah, we didn't put the thought. Yeah, we also played the swamp instead of the island. Yeah, we let our swamp get terminated. Yeah, wasn't great. Enemy mulligan to five. That's a good sign. Why don't we want lash rights against this opponent? I don't mind it. They have a bunch of like garbage in their deck, right? So like, discarding two cards to thaw them twice is probably reasonable. You want to main phase this. They play stuff like Tamiyo Safekeeping and Snakeskin Veil, so. Another advantage for Shranta Confession is it doesn't get gotten by those cards. Now the question is we want to main phase this, or main phase the Brainstorm in a turn up. I think I want to end a turn up because. Even if I super brick off, I can still kill this next turn. And they have two cards in hand. Okay, we didn't break that hat. Wait, like we bricked, but it wasn't that bad. 
I do wish this was the other land, though. I don't think this card's actually been better than than the land cycler very frequently. Ice Tunnel over landscape? Uh, no, that 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 slot, we don't want that slot to just be a blue-black dual line. That's not its purpose. Its purpose is to shuffle your deck after Brainstorm. Ice Tunnel does not shuffle your deck. I don't think it's worth it to play Tolarian Terror there and have shields down. See what our second Barons, yeah. Although Thorn of the Black Rose is pretty bad against Snarling Gorehound. <laughs> Which is a bit unexpected. I didn't know that car was in their deck. Wonder if it's worth it to try to deep analysis. Try to if I get an untap land, play terror. Yeah, I think it's better to be mana efficient. They already know I have a counter spell, so they're not gonna walk into it. So just gonna be mana efficient here. It's the deep analysis casting, it also lets us, like, our velocity is so high now. We're going to be able to tap out for most of the rest of the game. Man, this deck just feels so much better than blue-red deck. I just feel like I have something to do every single turn. Right? I have so much, like, the deep analysis of the modern ages give you so much ability to just craft your turns perfectly. I mean, do we just discard this Thorin? Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got going on. Maybe. Just got an island for now. Well, I, they, I, I'm not normally play playing against freaking Snarling Gorhound. I don't think Snarling Gorhound is bad. Don't get me wrong. I think Snarling Gorhound's a good addition to the deck. It just it certainly makes my Monarch look bad. <laughs> I, I like this hand. That hand is just missing um, the win condition, right? Just like a Modern Age or a Terror or whatever. We'll be able to find it off these um, off these two. Wow, I haven't been playing against this deck in a while. We are not well set up against them.
They're just gonna have it. Oh, the mirror retriever dog. Okay. I mean, like a brainstorm sucked. See, look what Thoughtscour allows me to do. Thoughtscour allows me to... Should I go for a Tentinate Aquifer and just snuff that thing out? Maybe you should do both. Oh, they don't have it all. That's probably good. Why are they playing Crystal Grotto over the one that surveils? Isn't that strictly worse? I don't... Is this even worth countering? I don't even know if it's worth countering. I'm going to do it, but I feel like Astronaut's Altar is a better course of action. But Spell Pierce has a very real possibility of not functioning later, so... I'm not sure whether we should play unexpected things or try to keep it for brainstorms. Snuff out the mirror and have a counter spell. Probably not. And that we won that game is a thought scour. Oh, she's blue red. I can't even do. You want suffocating fumes? I don't hate the idea behind it. I'm not sure it's better than cast down. All our creatures are X1s. Actually, having one thing is in deck is maybe not a bad idea because if they resolve a Golem's Foundry, they have a bunch of 3 threes, and I might need to gain life against them. Like, if Golem Foundry just being in play is, a, is like, at least two 3-3s, three right? And so I actually might need to gain some life against that. I'm not sure how important having a, a cast out is. I feel like they don't have that many targets for it. The snuff outs looked really good though. I do, I think maybe, maybe suffocating fumes is worth having here. 
it's probably better than like a preordain or something just for having access to the abilities. Is Priority better than Thought Scour here, actually? Probably is. But if I don't have the Sneaky Snackers... Yeah, but they have that they have that card that are like rebuys cards from the graveyard, right? So like it seems like surveilling is better than scrying. This hand is not great. It does have Nile Spellbomb. Is that just good enough? Having a having a hate card. The game's gonna go pretty long. Dahad Ploy makes the sand reasonable. It's got good mana, it's got a hate card in it. And they can't win with this in play, right? So... We get to test it out. <laughs> First time I've been able to test out this last ride stack card. Seems like it's going to be way better than Duress. How many think you should discard? Three? Two or three? Probably two. Two or three here. Two. Well, if I if I do three, I can play Tillery and Terra next turn. Not two. Uh, what? I can't choose three. Okay. <laughs> All right. I could have gone poorly. That was spooky. I'll agree to that.
Do I play this and leave open a black? Probably. So, I mean, obviously last rights would have been insane if we were on the play, right? It was okay on the draw. I thought this Goblin's Foundry is doing a lot of work for our opponent. They just have two of them. <laughs> all right, man. They just had it all. I think maybe I want to keep the Thought Scours because they are candy trails. I think I need... Uh, I think I need kill card. I need to like actually kill them though. I think having win conditions is probably useful. Maybe I need the other one. I think Spell Pierce is quite good, assuming they don't have Tron. I don't know how frequently they're going to have Tron. By turn 5, I think most games by... Maybe not on turn 4. Yeah, if they're running candy trails and they put scry stuff to the top of their deck, I can thought scour to get rid of them, right? So seems reasonable. I mean they can crack their thing in response, but they'd have to have two mana open to do that. Isn't always the case. How do they draw cards in their deck? They don't. Uh, Mirror Kinsmith and Mirror Tree were the only way to draw cards. Having like uh, Spreading Seas would be nice. Like if I had Spreading Seas, this this mashup would be free. But I don't have those. Probably fine. I think I'm just gonna. Main phase and if I brick concede. Okay. Should I just go to snuff out to try to play Terra next turn? Mm, I didn't think about that. Well, here we are. They don't have a land.
I think it's better to play play this. Play the deep analysis next turn. It's like way too bad. If I discard deep analysis and don't hit a land, it's way too bad for me. I like having modern age to put a clock on them too. I mean, it's a pretty slow clock, obviously. But... It's a lot of those. It's a clock nonetheless, because I'm not getting these terrors into play, so... Oh. So is it better for me to just lowering and revealed here? Probably. If I just got terror. The problem is I can't discard deep analysis, lowering revealed for an island and play deep analysis. That's not how it works, assuming your opponent has a pulse. I'm gonna put deep analysis. I'm gonna try to risk it here for the biscuit. Worked. Worse than the blue black one here for sure. This is a slot where if Ash Barons was the perilous landscape, it would have been insane. That sucked. All right, so do we want to thorn or do we want Lash Rites here and then thorn next turn? I think we probably...
If we had if we had drawn another spell, we could have last rites and Talarian Terror here. That would have been insane. I mean, I know their hand is four spells, so. Oh, are they moments piecing me? I think I want to discard the terror, don't I? But they're just going to like, all spell on me here. Last right seems completely insane in this deck. Yeah, I think Last Rite is just excellent. They're not terminating my guy, are they? I don't think so. Well, I guess they are kind of appliance and crystal grotto. Okay. Things isn't bad here. Did your jelly dispute? 
Well, that was the worst case scenario for me. That's they have daily disputes, but now they also have eviscerators inside. That was the worst case scenario. Pretty good draw. So worth attacking with this guy too. Five, six, seven, eight. We go to five. Probably not worth attacking with that one too. Probably not worth it. Because if they draw a candy trail, then they don't die, right? I get them an extra card. Scary top decks from our opponent. I mean, they have to sack the altar here, right? Uh, I guess I kill that, right? Messes up their heart haunted fen graph. All right, we got a little bit lucky. I mean, we have we drew a lot of lands this game. We got a little bit lucky there. Although I'm not even sure it mattered. So I'm not like yeah, it, it didn't even matter. So so last rights was completely insane, right? Like. People forget this card exists. Yeah, people just forget it exists and you're just like, you know, this this is a common. Seems like a keepable hand. Hey, Alcoy, thanks for the sub. Hey, thanks for the prime. Three bit inspector, okay. This is a matchup that I suspect is not great. So. Let's see what happens here. I did mean to restart MTGO and this is the, the art isn't showing up. I guess we could do that now. All right, some artwork is loaded now. Wait, what? Why are we bouncing a clue? What? Wow, that is a play that is legal. We don't have a modern age here, that'd be good if we did, but...
Mm, no, thank you. Oh, sure. I mean, if you don't want to do anything, uh, you don't have to do anything. It's fine with me. Interesting. Interesting. Wish I hadn't played the snacker. I could cast that thing down. I think I counterspell this. I guess I regret casting and playing the Snacker. I didn't think they had a Femrate in their deck. Huh? That was maybe not the ideal play. Could have waited on a Thraven Charm until this turn, right? Uh, I guess we get rid of the unexpected things more. Do we want unexpected things or do we want cast down here? What do you think? I think because we have a second Spangs in our deck, we can probably just get rid of those. We can actually cast the cast down here. You think I should have casted right there on the, on the Novice Inspector? What do you think? Was not looking at Femberite. Maybe not a big deal. Well, I think they were afraid of terror, right? It makes sense that they were afraid of terror. I guess I should have killed in my turn when they were tapped out, huh? Oh, they didn't have another ephemerate to punish me. I guess I, I mean, I play this pretty poorly, I guess. The deck only runs 102 if I'm right. Okay. Good 
Goodbye, Snacker. Upkeep ploy? I didn't think about it. I think upkeep ploy would have been correct. Thank you for bringing it up. I missed it. You're 100% correct. I should have upkeeped it. 100% correct. I've actually never made the ploy. But you were 100% correct. I should have done it. Would have been really I could have just had the snacker in play right here. Imagine the blue red act trying to fight through this guard, man. Here it doesn't make sense to upkeep because I might try another snack, all right, so. Or modern age and I gain an extra life. Say so I drew another snacker. You see? You see, De dead lat? You are correct, I should have upkeeped it at one turn, but it was incorrect to upkeep it this turn because I could have drawn a snacker. And the jumpstart is an additional cost. Is it right to attack here? I take one damage to attack here. One damage, one damage for five. I think it's probably worth it. Oh, they're blocking, that's even better. Now the question is, do I wanna cast deep analysis or do I wanna snuff out this um like pay for mana to snuff out the second sky fisher i probably just want to pay for mana all right i got nowhere to be i think i'm gonna hold on to the foreboding landscape to um to shuffle my deck after a brainstorm i don't think getting a land on my deck matters do you think i should have snuffed right then in case they drop him right mm, okay not a big deal when you have deep analysis in your deck. I see. Uh, Tithing Blade? I don't know about that one. The advantage of not doing it immediately is they don't attack with the Glint Hawk here, right? Maybe they weren't going to do it anyways. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not going to crack this, am I? I don't think I am. You think I should flash it back? I think I should flash it back here. I guess I could attack with two. Do I attack with two or three of them? Of the snacklers? What if I attack with all four? That's aggressive, but they're kind of screwed. And that leaves them at seven. And I've got an exclude.
But the problem with that is if they have prismatic strands in their deck, attacking is really bad for me. Do you think they play prismatic strands in this deck? I don't think they do. If they do, it's like a one or a two of, right? I think I just attack with these two and just draw two cards. I give them two more turns. I don't think it's a big deal that I've drawn exclude. I probably should have just deep analysis first. But I'm kind of afraid of like another Thraben Charm and exactly my graveyard, but maybe I shouldn't be. Their hand is Tithing Blade in an unknown. I don't think going to eight's a big problem. I think going lower than eight's a problem. Let's just leave it up and exclude here. Militia Bugler is kind of a pain. Do I want a Nulls here? Do I want Spell Pierce and do I want a Null? And do I want a Isle Spell Bomb? I think I do want a Null, but they're going to bring in Isle Spell Bombs, aren't they? You think I don't want spell pierce? They seem to be more mostly a creature deck. It's really good to counter like spell piercing a um spell piercing a an ephemerate or a spell piercing a nicker wellspring is really strong. Or or a deadly dispute. It's like game over if I counter any of those. I don't think like I don't I don't I think spell pierce is good against all decks. Nobody leaves open two mana for all their spells. It's always gonna have a target. I don't like unexpected things a ton because if they have prismatic strands, then it doesn't really do much. Um It's it's not reliable is what I should say. But I am my life total is taxed in this matchup, so maybe I want to keep it. Because I need to snuff out like they have a lot of flyers that are hard to block and um, I may need the life gain. The cast out doesn't seem great. But the problem is they have the core sky fisher, which is a two, three flyer, which is kind of puts a hamper on all my problem on all my things. Right. So like me be being able to cast down core sky fisher is a big part of my game plan. Now, is it better than, like, Suffocating Fumes? Maybe it isn't. Although, I don't know, do they play... They don't play Battle Screech, do they? I forgot you can spell Pierce Battle Screech, but they don't play that card, right? I don't think they do. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not taking out Snuff Out against Ephemerate decks. That's 100% not happening. I would take out like a Preordain or a Thought Scour before that. Thought Scour gets a lot worse post board because they bring in Nihil Spell Bombs and Thought Scours don't do much. You have to understand that two unexpected things is a lot more than one, and it's not. It, the difference isn't one, because having two allows you to discard or mill one of them and still be fine. So it, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but it really is.
Because you see most of your deck every game. So having one in your deck that you can find at some point is going to be good. Spell Piercing Olympus is pretty good too. They play that two mana one three, right? Exiles graveyards and stuff. Do you think they play Bajuka Bog in their deck? It's probably worth playing around Bajuka Bog, right? I don't want to discard Sneaky Snacker in case they have Bajuka Bog as their next card. Or Nihil Spell Bomb, like land Nihil Spell Bomb is pretty bad for me. Okay, they don't have it, but they could have, so I think it was correct to play around it. Use the Thought Scour to get our guys back. So now the question is, do we leave the open counter spell? Probably. Counterspell or Core Skyfisher. <clears throat> I guess we Counterspell or Glenthawk if they have it. I can't imagine trying to play the blue-red deck against this deck. I can't imagine it. Like, it just seems like a nightmare. Do I counterspell Glenthawk? I don't think I do. They're gonna return with Reverberous Familiar, aren't they? I guess I I guess I can counter this. Because I'm gonna be tapping out next turn anyways. Arms of Hadar, they're two creatures. Nice. This is going to work out great. Ooh, what if I draw an untapped line next turn? Sure. Untap land. Curses. Curses. You're in the way of progress, my friend. Untap land. It is an untap land. Hold on, I would in case they have Refurbish Familiar. Uh, do I sack this for Boating Landscape? I don't think I do. I don't need a second black, I don't think. This hold it in play in case I draw a brainstorm. I think I'd play this Lorian Revealed. Um, there's not very many things I care about that they play, and Prismatic Strands will make it so a counter spell won't even save me. So. Sure. Oh, they have a Lemus in play anyway, so they're not even dead. All right. If I had a, if I had a snuff out for this and a response to Thraven Charm, it would be pretty sick. 
Okay. Maybe I did, do I just easy cast this? I think I just easy cast it. Oh, I have one in here. Oh, that guy's coming back anyway. I think it is easy cast it to kill them. Hold the contaminated aquifer to get rid of brainstorming stuff. I don't think that matters. Nice. <laughs> what is a, how do I find a link for this? Uh, how do I copy the link for this? Does this work? I don't know, let me see if this works. Show Prasima brother. Not sure what that is, but This is gonna be a good test for Preordain. I think Preordain's like the the card I'm least sure about in the deck. The Preordains could be Ponders or Considers or Thought Scours or Mental Notes or even a different card entirely. So I'm not not certain, you know, which one is the best one. Definitely need a pre-order in here to get back my snacker. Do I want this to hot display? It's a bit slow. I don't hate it. I want a terror, but it's probably fine. So I can brainstorm these two back.
a lot of those. Nice. the hell? They are certainly spinning some wheels. I want to end a turn brainstorm here. The top card is counterspell. I can put the counterspell back as a second card up. They're going to like untap the rest. They're going to go for it next turn. What if I hide this snuff out? I think I hide the snuff out. Or should I hit the counter spell? Should I have hit the counter spell or the snuff out? I, I should have hit the 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 snuff. I should have hit the counter spell, right? I should have hit the counter spell because if they duress, they duress my snuff out. They go to play the 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 two drop and then I counter it. Yeah, I should have hit the counter spell. That was bad. I should have hit the I should have hit this the counter spell. I wouldn't be able to play terror this turn if I hit the counter spell. So that's the advantage of doing this.
Yeah, but then I don't get Terra, so they get a two turns when I do that, right? They get two turns if I... I think, I think they get two turns, right? If I don't play a Terra this turn. All right, that's funny. <laughs> they would have had to, like, if I don't play a Terror, then they can block the Terror and go to five. And then... I like I untap, I cast my Delha Ploy, and I have another counter spell. So I guess I went either way. But how do we feel about? Do I need unexpected things against the green black version? Probably not. How do we feel about Nihil Spellbomb in this matchup? And how do we feel about suffocating fumes? I think these two should probably come in. I think I, I kind of like the snackers putting pressure on them. So I think I want them. But do you do we need these? Is the question. I don't think we have enough hard counter spells, like, because they bring in a bunch of, like, Mesmeric Fiends, right? So. And I could definitely cut some cantrips. I can cut some cantrips for um, some higher impact cards if we need to. Like, the Preordains or whatever. I don't have to play them. The question is, do we need not heal spell bombs? Let's try one not heal spell bomb. Because they play Evolution Witness, so it's like having a not heal spell bomb is pretty good against that. Oh, the last rites is here, chat. It is here. It's gonna be hard to cast, but maybe it'll be easy to cast. Last rites is so much better than duress. Do you think we're just not going to draw black? I mean, maybe. I guess that is like a thing you could bank on. Mesmeric Fiend? That's a reason to have suffocating fumes on the deck to actually kill that guy. That's not good. We're going to need to draw a land. Two draws for a land. They know we have Modern Age on top of our dog. They don't know we have Counterspell, though.
Dude, Modern Age is so insane. Can you believe that Blue Red deck just like... Can you believe the Blue Red deck is winning all these popper events? Can you believe it? Like how? Why? I feel like this deck is at least twice better, right? What did I get rid of a null? Huh? We definitely need to bring in suffocating fumes for the mesmeric fiends. I forgot about them. What do they take? Uh, duress, Sinker, Wellspring, Delay to Speed. Okay, so they took Root Scale. So, if we draw a land, they're kind of doomed, right? We did not draw a land. <sighs> Man, they duress my land and I can't cast my spells now. What a travesty. That is not good. Yeah, we definitely need suffocating fumes in this matchup. I forgot about I forgot about needing to kill mesmeric fiends. If I had drawn a land there, they were completely doomed. But... I think I need to get a clock in play. But on the other hand, I need to get a black source. I'm trying to determine whether it's better to flash by deep analysis or leave open exclude or play Telerian Terror. I think getting a clock in play is super important, but if they draw like a Nihil spell bomb, I'm doomed. They could also have Snuff Out in their deck. I've seen a lot of them bring in Snuff Outs in this matchup, which would make this a bad play as well. My instinct is that Deep Analysis is the right play. I need to keep the cards going. I need to be able to play two spells on a turn, and playing Terror does not let me do that. The cool rocket. Do I need to turn this brainstorm? I think I do. So if I draw, I think I do. I want to. Question is, like, I want to be able to leave play Teller and Terror with exclude up, obviously, but maybe that's not necessary. Maybe getting a card deeper is more important. I don't want to get locked out. I, I, it's too bad if I get locked out. I'm not going to bother. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now I think getting locked out doesn't matter. Okay, we're locked. We have to win what we've got. I think we can win what we've got.
What are we not playing next turn? We're playing this right here. Are we not playing Lash Rites next turn? We're probably going to play Lash Rites next turn, right? So maybe we would just put back, cast down, and snuff out. I guess we're tapping out. Oh, I guess we can put back the island. Back the island. Oh, well, let's not forget to play our land. I'm glad we waited on the brainstorm. That was right. If we play those la last rights, what are we discarding, though? We don't have to play it. We can just hold on to it. What do you think we should do? I think we should just hold on to last rights for one more turn. They know we have exclude, but they don't know any of the rest of our hand. And I kind of like killing this thing now when they don't have green mana. They can obviously rockets for green, but. Well, they know they duress us earlier. I mean, they know we have exclude. I don't know about not attacking. Another question is, I, I don't think we want a last ride to our last rides. I think it'll be great next turn. Don't think it's necessary here. The way this game turned out, I think if we were on the play, last rides would have been insane. But I think the way things have planned out. The problem, I guess the real problem is why Last Right isn't good here is because they had Eviscerator's Insight to sack the Acre Wellspring. If they didn't have that, I think it would have been really good here. 
I don't know how many of these people play freaking last rights in their deck. But... No county garden is good for me. County garden would have been pretty bad for me. Is leaving open exclude and double snuff out better? Probably. Than like guessing last rights. If I guess last rights, I discard a snuff out. I can I can double thought seize them or leave open exclude, which is better. The exclude kind of just gets duressed. You think exclude is better? They know we have it from the turn one duress. Bean took a null. Well, I guess they just can't beat exclude. This hand is medium minus. If our opponent mulligans, we might keep. I mean, this hand needs like a modern age. If this one of these was a canter, but they, they mulliganed. All right, they mulliganed, we'll keep. It's gonna have to cast Snacker turn two if we don't draw modern age. We're Barnstorm. Enemy Mulligan to five. And they did not play a land on turn one. We drew a Barnstorm. Now, why would they keep a five carder? Maybe they just refuse to go lower. I say, should I leave up a spell pierce to counter like a. A cantrip, because it seems like the only deck I could think of that would do this is maybe Modern Blue Delver. That's probably what it is. Candy Trail. Island Candy Trail? Okay. Island Candy Trail. Is this the Fog Deck? The Fog Deck play Island Candy Trail? I don't know. What, what Island Deck runs Candy Trail? You think they're affinity? With one island? No, they, they, there are some builds that run one island. I think they should be running one island, but they're not. Some of them run one swamp, some run one island. But they do run candy trails. I don't think I have enough information to make a decision. I think regardless, Anul is going to be good against them, though. Regardless of what deck they're running. 
You think they're Grixis Affinity? And I are probably gonna be good too. There are Grixis Affinity, okay. Probably need to bring an extra to confession. Need to extract a confession to kill Kenku Artificer. Or rather the 3 3 indestructible they make afterwards. Because I'm not running Steel Sabotage anymore. I'm going to play Mirror Enforcer here. <clears throat> Can I exclude the Mirror Enforcer? Was it better for me to counter Nile Spell on again? I'm not sure. It was Thought Cast? Wow. It's impressive. Why aren't they sacking Wellspring? Got big plans for that Wellspring, I guess.
That's a problem. I think we're dead now. Modern age would be only out here if it is. I don't even think it isn't out. Time to modern age, try to get there. Not a lot of great cards in our hand, but... Might just go Terra next. I wonder if it's just guarding counterspell here. Not cracking the spell bomb, huh?
Just gonna rebuy the hottest ploy here. So he has GG? I wouldn't go that far. Trying an Isle Spellbomb would be nice. Did you thought cast? Oh, they drew Mirror Enforcer. Tap land sucks here. I never know why they have that card in their deck. <laughs> like, are you going to sack all your permanents, bro? Like, I don't understand. Like, there's no way you're sacking all your permanents, right? Man, that is so lucky for them. They were empty-handed. They draw a creature or an artifact and they lose. They have to block. The question is, are they throwing five artifacts at it? And the answer is no. They're empty handed here. No way, man. Empty handed. No way, man! <laughs> There's just no way!
They were empty handed twice and top deck the nuts twice, man. Can we draw a deep analysis or a Lorgan revealed or brainstorm? I'll take it. Suffocating fumes for the win? All right, I'll take that, I guess. For real, man. They're finally not going to draw it. They're not going to have it. Hell yeah. I, I That's what I'm saying. I, I think that matchup is actually good. I truly believe it. 